actually made some things in my dehydrator. It's almost 11 o'clock at night, so my onion rings has been going for almost uh, 40. Mm, I put them in yesterday. So I'll say they've probably been going for almost like 28 hours, maybe, at this moment. Um, I made some butternut squash kale burgers and I put those in around 2.30 today and it's around 10.45 so let's see how they look guys like I stated I got some um, butternut squash kale burgers in here and looking kind of good so I had one already. Well, actually, I had two. I taste the patty, and then I made a little. Uh, I'm gonna just take these out. So I taste the patty, and then I made a little sandwich. But this is the consistency. I need something to make like burgers, you know, so it won't be so uneven, like the flat and then the middle. But it's so juicy on the inside like similar to like a, um, a cheeseburger so these are done I don't really want to overcook them because they're really soft in the middle but these are my take on the butternut squash kale burgers and they are really good I would open one so I'm about to make another sandwich so I'm going to show you guys how that turns out but yeah that's those and then my onion rings are still cooking so I'm gonna put this back in there real quick so I can show you the onion rings and a few tomatoes but you know I'm experimenting with those I had some um, cherry tomatoes yeah I've been nibbling on my onion rings guys and then these are some apple rings that I made and I'm actually making a cracker so this is going to be a, um, a onion cracker onion bread cracker so it's still doing it's still a little so i'm gonna let this stay there overnight hopefully it's done in the morning because i would love to take it to work but yeah i'm gonna show you the sandwich soon okay right. guys so this is the build up of my uh, sandwich and it's just basically dry herbs on top but i put um some romaine. I chopped up the romaine, the remainder of the romaine that was at the bottom of the leaves. I put red bell peppers, onions, and then some dried up herbs on top. I do have tomatoes. I didn't put tomatoes on there initially, but I may later on. Um, now, I do have a few of these patties, and I don't want them to go bad. So, I'm going to put probably two on here and maybe store the other two in the refrigerator and when I'm ready to eat it I'll throw it in the dehydrator for like a few minutes but I don't want them to dry out because in the middle they still got like a salt texture and I think with the butternut squash it basically made it like a cheese to me like it tastes like cheese um, the only downfall is that I didn't make a sauce. So with this, I will probably make like a savory sauce, more like a um, spicy sauce, possibly. Still thinking about how I want to do a sauce for this recipe, but you know, the sky is the limit. But I am going to put a few of these onion rings on here as well. Because they definitely did make the sandwich better for me at least um, yeah, these onion rings been in here for a minute for a good while but we just want to throw them all up in here and even though it don't have a sauce it's really not dry it's real flavorful believe it or not but all right, guys. I'm about to dig in. Bon appetit. When you're a raw vegan and all you want is a burger and some onion rings, well, it's possible. So, 
This is a butternut squash kale burger that I made and some onion rings in my dehydrator. It's so juicy in the middle. It's like a cheese texture. So it's like a cheeseburger. <laughs> it's so yummy. It's falling apart, guys. So good. <laughs>